Hello. Well, I, uh, I finally saw a movie that, uh, many people months ago when it first came out were saying was good. That movie is Alita Battle Angel. Actually, I saw it like a few weeks ago, but you know, instead of talking about it the last week or so, I, um, did the Star Wars, the rest of the prequel trilogy, because, you know, I wanted to talk about those, but in short, I liked this film. It was a very good film. I didn't see it in theaters, because it came out when it was uh, in the middle of winter, or towards the end of winter, I guess, technically, but it was still winter, and um, you know, I live in Iowa, and uh, it was snowing, and you guys roads would be icy to the theaters I would go to to see this film and in the end, long story short it was not worth it for me to go out and watch this movie and when it was on, on the big screen because well icy conditions and snow plus stupid drivers it's not a good combination really I don't know I just it's a it's a good film um, basically Alita is a cyborg who, uh, what's the name, uh, Dr. Dyson, Ido, yeah, Ido, I believe, you know, he finds, he finds this cyborg, she has amnesia, she can't remember really anything, but as the film goes on, she gets glimpses of her old life, um, and, uh, yeah, he, Stars Christoph Waltz, um, Jennifer Connelly, uh, Mahershala Ali. Um, uh, Jackie Earl Haley, and Rosa Salazar is Alita. Um, Christoph Waltz's character he uh, takes Alita, whom he calls Alita, and. Uh, he then just, you know, he repairs her, he fixes her up, and then through the course of the film, they bond, and yeah. Sort of like a father-daughter sort of scenario, or mentor-student, like she's relearning how to do things like she used to do before, uh, but, yeah, um, it's, it's a very good film, um, it's directed by, uh, Robert Rodriguez, um, produced by James Cameron, who also helped write the script, it's based off of a manga, and, yeah, I don't know, I don't really know what all the say about it other than it's a good film it's a good action film um a lot of people were raving about this i don't know it's 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 a film that would have been cool to see on the big screen but as i mentioned earlier with the conditions it just would not have been good for me to go out and watch it uh, the only theater really nearby i guess there's a couple but one you wouldn't really want to go to unless it's an absolute last resort that's in a proximity towards me of where I live, but I don't know. Unless you absolutely want to see something, but I don't know. It's, it's, it needs to be uh, updated. It needs to be good. And I don't know. It's just not a fun place to go to anymore. When I was a kid, it was good theater, but now, eh. And the other, other theater that's really close, it shows a lot of art house and independent films. Occasionally you have a big blockbuster, but that's usually in the summer. So, yeah, Alita was never going to be there, because uh, it didn't come out in the summer. And, yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's a, it's a good film. Um, I do hope there's a sequel, because, again, it's based off of a manga, and at, at the end of this film, it's like there's gonna be. It's like they build it so it's like there's. Hopefully there'll be more. Um, how many more? I don't know. 
I've never read the manga, so I have no real clue how long it was. What go? What did I see? Battle Angel Lolita. How many volumes? Nine volumes. So I don't know. I don't know if they'd want to do nine films all together. They might combine a bunch of elements of some of them. I guess with that many, many uh, volumes, three films would probably be too short. Um, but they could do a trilogy, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a really good film. Uh, I recommend it. I know this isn't really very uh, <laughs> long, but again, I, do, I, I don't know. I try not to. I don't want to go and talk forever about something when, at the end of the day, might be like, I'll just watch it instead, or I won't watch it, so this was a waste of time. I want to try and keep these videos as brief as possible, um, but it's a good film. It's a very fine film if you have never seen it. Um, if you like manga, uh, give this a watch. A lot of people said it's really good. Uh, a lot of more people have talked about it a lot better than I could ever talk about it. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed it. That's it. Uh, apologies for the shortness of it, but again, I, I, I kind of want things to be like this. Get to the point. There you go. I liked it. and uh, it's, a, it's a good story. Good amount of action. The acting is very good, also. Um, yeah. And I'm not talking too much about the story because there could be some people who have never seen this as well, so. That's another thing. Even though it's been out for quite some time, maybe people who missed it in the theater, like me, for whatever reason, might not be the same reason as to why I missed it, for safety reasons, but, I don't know, maybe you just weren't, you heard little to nothing about this film. Um... Maybe you just didn't want to get the Blu-ray or the DVD or if it's streaming anywhere, it just didn't catch your interest. But, you know, it's a good film. It's like two hours. How long is this exactly? Oh, yeah, two hours and 20, yeah. Two hours and two minutes. So, yeah, it's two hours, basically. Have a couple hours to spare. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be a good time. It'd be fun to watch. Um, I'd say it's worth it. It would be worth it. So, Alita Battle Angel. Very fine film. Haven't seen it. Give it a chance. Only a couple of hours. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, it's not like two and a half to a nearly three hour film, so you won't waste too much time. Hopefully. Uh, well, I guess two hours, you know, you could do a lot in two hours. But it's very good. I would say it's worth watching at least once. Um, I will most likely watch this again. I've been doing other things, so. I haven't been able to really watch a whole lot of stuff at the moment. Um, though it is getting to October, and I want to talk about horror films, so. That's something that's going to happen soon, so. If you're into that, then stay tuned next month, and I will talk about four films. Um, probably already watched some of them. Uh, that I haven't watched in a long time, so I'm very familiar with it when I'm talking about it. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope this was enough to pique your interest if you haven't seen Alita. But if not, there are other videos. Um, SC Reviews did a video, a few videos about Alita, Battle Angel. Uh, David V. Stewart, or David Stewart on YouTube. Yeah, he has done so as well. There's others out there. Those are just a couple of YouTubers I know who can do better justice talking about the film and go in better detail. And Some of their videos they do spoil a film, so if you haven't seen it, obviously watch the ones that haven't got the spoilers, but yeah. Uh, if you want a better, <laughs> I guess, uh, somebody who could possibly convince you to give the film a chance, since I probably haven't done it very well. Watch them. 
they're very good. They do. They talk about it better than I could. Um, and still, you know, uh, I I just I don't know. I just have to really really watch it again. But uh, hopefully in the near future. Because it was very good. It was very fun to watch. So, with that, I hope you all have a good day. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. And until next time. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just see you next time. It's a bit long-winded goodbye, but, you know, yeah. Bye.